Today we'll try to speak a little bit about one of the most uh, brutal thrust metal bands. I'm speaking, I'm speaking about uh, Dark Angel. And uh, Dark Angel, uh, first of all, uh, they started uh, on in, in, in 1981 in California. Their first name of the band was Cell Shock. Afterwards, they changed the name to Dark Angel. And they are very famous about their extremely fast uh, uh, sound, about their lengthy songs, about their brutal thrust metal, in, especially in their second uh, famous album, Darkness Descends. But in the third and fourth al album, they played even more uh, technical thrust. Uh, and they were one of the most uh, famous and uh, influence, influ uh, influenced bands of the second wave of 80s um, United States, uh, American France from the United States. Also, they had the, the name, the nickname, the LA Caffeine Machine, because they had, they had many, many riffs in their songs. Uh, and not only that, also the last album, the fourth album, Time Does Not Heal, uh, took the nickname, the album of uh, uh, 256 riffs. Okay, one also, also of the important uh, reasons that many people remember this band, not only because of their uh, legendary second album, uh, Darkness Descends, also because of their famous drummer, Jeremy again uh, Oglan. That also he played uh, with uh, with death with the testament he plays also today, today with testament he played with strapping a young lad he played with fear factory also with the blacksters of norway old man's child and he had also another uh, band zimmer's holes also other uh, important uh, members of the band was jim dorkin he played uh, the guitar uh, in their in their in their three first albums. Also, Mike Gonzalez he came and he played the bass uh, from the third album. In their first two albums, uh, Don Dotti was the singer, and the and two last albums the singer was Ron Reinhardt. Also, we had uh, another guitar, uh, famous guitarist Eric Mayer. And uh, in these years, also Dave Mustaine from Megadeth, he came and he asked uh, Eric Mayer to leave uh, Dark Angel and to, uh, to become the base, the bassist of Megadeth, something that uh, he denied. Now, I will try to make, uh, to rank their, their albums to worst to best. Also, this is uh, one of the, of the bands that will not have a really worst uh, album. Until now, they, they, we have, they split themselves two times and they re reunited for two times. Uh, the first split uh, came in 1992, one year after their last album. In these years, there's also, they said that they started to make uh, the fifth album, but this, this fifth, uh, the fifth album uh, uh, never uh, came, uh, they, uh, they not published it. So we have four albums. Afterwards, they make the first reunion in 2002 until 2005, and they split for the second time. And uh, they reunited for a second time in 2013 and continue until now. Okay, so in the fourth place for me comes their third album of 1989. I'm speaking about the album Live Scars. This is a very, very technical thrust metal album. In some riffs, they are very close to the death metal style. Uh, here, I like very much uh, their instruments, uh, songs as a code, code ration, as a worms. Uh, also, the song Older Than Time itself. And here also, they made a, a cover of the song, Immigrant Song of uh, Led Zeppelin. Now, in the third place for me comes their last album, their fourth album, 1991. We speak about the album, Time Does Not Heal. Also, very, very technical 
thrust with progressive uh, elements and this album also uh, was uh, famous by the name the album of, two th of 246 riffs and I prefer it also it's not so easy to listen to it together with leaf scars very 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 technical but I prefer it even more from leaf scars and now in the second place for me comes the second album yeah of 1986 I'm speaking about Darklands Descents and I know that will be many 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 people that will say how what what you're doing this is their great uh, album this is their best album the Marcus opus of them yes I know but in any case here they're very very brutal so in the first place I will put their first album the debut album we have arrived of 1985 a very great album Hoglan he was not he was not a drummer in this album Jack Schwartz was the drummer in this album but it is a very 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 great album and I prefer it maybe because it is even more classical thrust metal of the United States if you understand what I'm saying about uh, the cover of the, of, of, of the of the album here we have uh, uh, the cover of uh, the company uh, from France Axe Killer but uh, even more the most important um, cover is this uh, cover of this album here also we have great songs in Darkest Descents uh, if I'm speaking that, first of all let's see let's say that in time does not heal for me here uh, the most important songs is uh, time does not heal pain's invasion madness the new priesthood and the psychosexuality also here in this song uh, uh, they put uh, the song of miss Sirlu in the beginning uh, here in darkest descents i prefer uh, songs as uh, darkest descents the burning of sodom merciless death also they played it here in this also album Black Prophecies and the Paris in Flames. And here, here in We Have Arrived, also We Have Arrived, the song Merciless Death, they played it uh, first time in this album. Welcome to the Slaughterhouse, Hells on Its Knees, and for me, the best <laughs> Dark, Dark Angel uh, song, Vendetta, the last song of, of this album so from israel and from jerusalem stay metal and stay healthy